On Netflix, I watched the latest Eliza Schlesinger special, Hot Forever. Well, actually, I watched nine minutes and then I dipped. Yes, my latest stand-up comedy special review is a speedrun any percentage completion. I've had a lot of issues with Eliza. She seems to be granted repeated opportunities because of the way she looks. And I mean, come on, we like seeing her naked. She keeps fit, she looks hot, and I think she knows it. I guess that's why she called this hot forever, because she's 39, so hey, she went wire to wire. But her stand-up has not evolved. It is entirely, I speak for all women. Women, you do this, and then we go like that, and, and men, you're like this. It's very weird. These are stories that are not real. It's like she overheard somebody tell her these things, and she's reinterpreting it, changing the names around and making it, oh, all women. It, w women, we do this, and then when you go to bed, you do... She's been doing this forever. Women, when you go to a club, you're in war with the other women trying to earn a man. Okay, we got it. You give dating advice, but this isn't supposed to be a TED Talk. What really turned me off, though, in this latest special, aside from the promiscuous promotion of casual sex, you can tell from all the cheers in the crowd that this is a women's only event in Cleveland. And to really win over that crowd, here goes Eliza, and I'm pro-choice, it's the only way to be. At that point, I had enough. I've seen enough of this. I know that we are not telling jokes, we are talking for claps. Making a statement that everybody in Hollywood makes that isn't controversial enough to really grant you any kind of headlines. But you know, parrots the things that the executives want to hear. Because whatever form of entertainment you're watching it seems to be less about entertainment right now and more about telling you how to think, feel, believe, and most importantly, how to vote. Now you can say that they had these kind of lectures back in the 90s, but it was a little more nuanced. You didn't feel like the whole objective behind what you were watching was to get you to vote Democrat. Yeah, but forget that noise. Today we have 39-year-old Eliza with one joke. If you appreciate a YouTube channel that doesn't just pad out content to get to the 8 minute mark so that it can hammer you with ad breaks, then you should subscribe to my son's channel. You just got done watching it.